club. On my arrival there at Montrose, I heard three gunshots. I heard three shots, bow, bow, bow. I parked my car, I desist, exit the vehicle, and I proceed to the part where the shots is coming from. I'm gonna say this to you guys, I'm very annoyed. These rich in control is, is everybody's listening to me in this country? They're like, no, they don't care. But it telling me what is going on. Oh my God. Rich people, y'all calm down, okay? I'm here. Discipline will make it. You have to listen to the police officers. Welcome back to the flight. Hit that subscription button, buddy. And stay updated with everything that's trending in Guyana and the diaspora. Thanks. Yo, the man is busting gun for dust, right? The man is ready up and shook here, right? Man, I up on the IT. Early, okay? I'm very up early. We have a lot of stuff to address this morning. We have a lot of things to address this morning. I was out last night. I was in a club called Tribe. I like Tribe. You know, Tribe is very beautiful. It's very demure, it's very bougie. I went to CJ Bar through Ben and Loiza Road. It was very nice there too, you know. I'm avoiding the local spots. But I need to talk to the rich people. After Tribe, my friend and I said, Doggy, let's go to Montreux. I'm like, what is Montro? Oh, it's classy, it is nice. Montro's a nice club. On my arrival there at Montrose, I heard three gunshots. I heard three shots, bow, bow, bow. I parked my car, I desist, exit the vehicle, and I proceed to the part where the shots is coming from. I'm gonna say this to you guys, I'm very annoyed. These rich Indian people, they're very fucking out of order. They're gonna get it right, okay? You cannot drink your rum and start shooting up the place. When I arrived there, police was there. Indian people were fighting. They were drunk, females and men. It was a mess. They're not listening to the police. They come to me, doggy, doggy. This is what happened. Listen to me. You have to respect the police, whether you're rich or not. Okay? They were fighting in front of me. One Indian guy punched a black guy in his face. Bad out. Like, what the fuck? And they're like, doggy, you see? The Indian people were a mess. These rich people were very out of order. And they come in and telling me the story. Now I'm outside the party. When I'm partying, I'm not on duty, I'm not doing police work. They're not listening to the police with uniform. I had to calm the shit down. I set up a barricade. I said, officers, like control this. Is everybody listening to me in this country? They're like, no, they don't care. But it telling me what is going on. Oh my God. Rich people, y'all calm down, okay? I'm here. Discipline will make it. You have to listen to the police officers. It was a total, I didn't even reach in Montreal. This place is supposed to be bougie high. I didn't get a chance to reach in there. It was a confusion. When you guys drink your alcohol, you better control yourself. Girls were fighting. Guys were fighting. Set of rich people and it's, it's a war. Oh my god. So I didn't get to enter Montreal or Montreal. I did not. It's on the road. It was a totally shut down. They are not listening to the police. The police gonna control the situation. The dog did. I wanna say thank you guys for listening to me, but listen to me. I'm in this country. Discipline will maintain. Do you understand? Discipline will maintain. It will maintain. I don't know the impact I have on people. It's just, um, I'm just a human dog, but everybody listen to me. They listen to me. Good morning, everyone. Let's rich people kill each other and fight up Jamal. Jamal, 
I don't know since you're out of the country, your sense is being unsensible. Conduct yourself, Jamal, okay? You hear the words coming out your mouth? Let rich people kill themselves? Are you dumb? No. It's a no for me, Jamal. Thou shalt not kill, okay? Thou shalt not kill, okay? No. Watch your rose. You know? They are not listening to the police. The police gonna control the situation. The dog did. I wanna say thank you guys for listening to me, but listen to me. I'm in this country, discipline will maintain. Do you understand? Discipline will maintain. It will maintain. I don't know the impact. Vice President Barrett Jagdio on Thursday blamed the management of the Guyana Power and Light as well as the old transmission lines for the daily blackouts citizens are currently facing. He was at the time speaking at his weekly press conference at Freedom House. So, they are telling me that when they move some of these lines, it is causing instability in the system or they have to take off the power to move a bit of the line. So, some of that is happening. Some of it is the old system and frankly speaking, we are not happy with the management too. Look at what's going on. So, it's a combination of factors and it bothers me a lot personally too and we are on it every day as policymakers, Jagdio said. Vice President Dr. Barra Jadio at a press conference on Thursday announced the potential establishment of a commission of inquiry to investigate the killings that occurred in Guyana during the tumultuous 2000 seconds. Jadio's comments were sparked by statements from opposition leader Aubrey Norton and the Alliance for Change on the recent International Day of Democracy. Both entities highlighted concerns regarding extrajudicial killings, claiming that around 1,500 victims were recorded during that period. Jack Dio, who was president during the period, vehemently refuted this assertion, stating, It's a lie. In fact, the actual number of fatalities was around 400, and even that number included police officers and innocent civilians, not just criminals. Jack Dio criticized the opposition for manipulating statistics, arguing that their narrative has shifted dramatically over the years. The police in Suriname received a report of a fraud case in which a woman allegedly sold a worker's house in Marienburg to two people. The suspect told the victims that she was going to leave for Guyana and that they could move into the house. They would have to pay her renovation costs and then the house would be theirs. In reality, it concerns a worker's house that belongs to the state of Suriname. One of the victims, named Jasmine, told the editors of Waterkid net that she was scammed by a certain savagery pursuit for 59,000 Suriname dollars. This is the amount she paid to be allowed to live there permanently. After she gave the money to the woman, she was no longer reachable. Jasmine learned that Prasad had emigrated to Guyana. Besides this victim, there is another woman who paid Prasad almost 50,000 Suriname dollars to live in the house. The police of Marienburg received the report and are busy tracking down and arresting Prasad. The Bahamas, Jamaica, Belize and Haiti are the CARICOM member states which have been listed by the U.S. President as major drug transit or major illicit drug producing countries for fiscal year 2025. In a statement, the White House explained that a country's presence on the list is not necessarily a reflection of its government's counter-drug efforts or level of cooperation with the United States. It was made clear the list is not a sanction or penalty, but the reason countries are placed on the list is geographic commercial and economic factors that allow drugs or precursor chemicals to be transited or produced even if a government has engaged in diligent law enforcement measures. While Guyana is considered a transshipment point for drugs head to Europe and parts of the US, the country is not considered a major drug transshipment point. Over the years, Guyana has been steadily increasing its efforts to tackle drug trafficking. However, drug pushers from other parts of South America have been continuously using Diana's white and porous borders to get their drugs in and out of the country. A natural way to stay ready, baby, because I'm ready for you, Mr. C. The ultimate male supplement, men's total wellness formula, packed with essential nutrients for men's health. She'll call you Mr. C. Park and it's in the pony road. That's what I'm Yes. 
it in up on the road. Now I got a call from Mr. Williams. He was here Saturday measuring up my shed. Measuring up my shed and how far it come out and all these things. Threatening to break down my shed. Yeah, threatening to break down my shed. How I'm not supposed to. This is a residential area and I'm not supposed to operate in no business. I understand that. I'm fully much aware of that. Right? But this is a small business. This is not a multi-million dollar business. This is not a Chinese supermarket. Here, this is a small business. It's carry washing. Yeah, it's carry washing. We gotta survive. Well, anyways, the reasons I call all you here is because I have some news for you. Terrence didn't tell you you're going to be a daddy again. Oh, well, that is all strong. I news. I'm not the mommy. What? Your boy, what? 